Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been trying to get this video up for the past, I don't know, two weeks I think? Um, but I've just been really busy and I haven't had time to sit down and film kind of like the intro, the outro and like little talky bits in the video. So I literally have maybe like 10 minutes before um, I have to get ready because I'm off for a lovely dinner tonight. Yeah, I thought I wanted to kind of sit down and have a little chatty update with you guys and obviously insert some of the video clips that I have in here. I hope that makes sense. My brain is going at like 100 miles per hour and I have like a thousand different tabs going on um, and I feel like the words aren't coming out <laughs> as well as I thought it would be. So. Oh, huh. <laughs> I'm just filming an intro and outro for my oh. YouTube video. Hey, bye. You want to say hi? Oh, yeah. <laughs> want to say hi? I'm covered in caustic and sink stuff. Lovely. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Slow and well, yeah. So the first bit that I'm going to be showing you guys in the video is me at London Beer Craft Festival. Um, I ended up working on the Friday evening um, with 40 foot which was really fun because I have never experienced anything like that before like I've never had like a bartending job or a waitressing job or anything like that or even poured a pint in my life um, so yeah it was really fun actually really really fun went to set up on Thursday and then poured pints on Friday and then went back on Saturday to like enjoy the festival. It was very, very fun, but it was very hot, like super sticky, but we had a good time. So yeah, thanks to um, my lovely boyfriend who got me uh, a pass so that I could help pour beer. So that was fun. Hi guys, currently, uh in a different type of uniform today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm help setting up um, London Craft Beer Festival. So I'm in a high vis today. It's my new events, American and Manja. <laughs> I can show you guys what we've done so far. It's quite cool. So this is our stand. We managed to get the disco pills and neon lights on top um, at the front, which looks really cool. And then we've got the 40 foot um, like banner thing at the back. We're setting up all of the linders and casts right now. Then have a bunch of like merch and stuff to sort through. But yeah, it's looking really cool. I'm really proud of it. It's so cute. going to work this evening. I'm gonna go pour a beer. <laughs> Should be fun. Never done it in my life, so yeah. You can get loads of people to go and keep them happy. <laughs> The second bit that I'm going to be showing you guys is me going to view another way of life property. I have been like loving all the way of life residency and amenities. So I wanted to go and see another property which was not too far from Canary Wharf. It was a lot cheaper than the Tottenham Hill ones. Um, I really, really liked it, but I didn't love the location. That was probably the only downside, but everything else was really nice. And it was a lot bigger than I thought. And I went and looked at two bedroom apartments there. 
like I said, it was a lot cheaper than the Tottenham Hair ones. And yeah, it was really nice. I really love the green kitchen. Um, I really like the ones with the islands, um, with like the, what do you call that? The conductor fan thing coming out of the islands. That was really cool. Um, I'm also very glad that I took Mike with me because this girl has never rented anything in her life. So he was asking the questions that needed to be asked because um, I had no clue about like the council tax or all the other things that you asked. <laughs> Gas, electric, water. <laughs> yeah, all of that stuff. I know that I obviously should know all of that, but I didn't. Um, but like the bin shoots and stuff like that, like I had no idea. So I'm very glad that I brought him with me to ask all the relevant questions. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys those clips now um, of my viewing of the Way of Life property. So here we are at the Balfron Tower. It is another Way of Life property. And I don't know if you guys know, but this is like a really famous building. Um, Goldfinger designed the building, was the architect. And he also lived in the apartment and loads of like movies and shows have been um, filmed at this location, which is really cool. So yeah, this is um, a two bed apartment. I kind of wanted to just see the two bedrooms just to kind of see the size and the layout and kind of just get a feel for it. This is the first one that I went to see and I really love the open plan. I love the green kitchen. I love the island and this extractor fan situation, which I didn't even realize was an extractor fan until the building manager showed me. I thought it was really freaking cool. Um, yeah, I just really love it. Like the view of it was really cool as well. You kind of get to see Canary Wharf and yeah you literally see so much of london and then the bathrooms i think was really nice it's a really good space not too big not too small i also really like the white tiles it makes it pretty clean the bedrooms however i found a little bit small um the ones at tottenham hell i think were a little bit bigger um so yeah that's kind of like one of my concerns but some of the apartments also kind of like go up or go down. And this was one of the ones that went down, which was really interesting. But yeah, like even though the weather was gloomy, it was kind of nice to see that there was still a lot of light that you can get in the apartment. The next one that I had a look at, it was a two bed with two baths. The previous one was only one bath. So this one had an ensuite to the master. Again, I love this green kitchen. I love how open it is. I have like a little area for the dining chairs and tables. The rooms in here did feel a little bit bigger too, which I really like. And every single apartment also comes with a washing machine, which I forgot to show you in the other one. But yeah, this is like the main family bathroom. It has a bathtub, which is great. Really good size. I really liked it. And then we go on to the master bedroom, which was a little tight, I think. Um, but it's still nice. But I love this bathroom. Like there was so much light and it was a gloomy day and yeah like literally so much light super super nice the view isn't that bad you have the o2 in the background as well and then we quickly peeked into goldfinger's apartments next door the original apartment um fresh coat of paint but everything has been kept pretty much the same which is really cool it's very old school um so not my vibe but it was really cool to see We also went to see the rooftop garden, which is a really cool space upstairs. You can host like little parties, barbecues, anything up here. And yeah, it's just really nice to have in London when it's really, really hot. Then the last set of apartments I went to go and see had the grey kitchen. So these apartments kind of like come with two different colour sets, either the green kitchen or the grey. The grey I really love. It is very modern. It's very sleek. But I think I really want something with a little bit more character and some life. So colour is where I'm heading towards right now. Also in the green kitchen apartments, the floors, like there's no carpet. 
but in these ones the bedrooms have carpet which I don't really like especially when I have Dexter so yeah I'm gravitated towards the other ones also the bathrooms um, in these ones are different so they have like the red ceiling and everything is all white it is very lovely but again i think i just want a little bit more life and some color so there are also some amenity spaces in the building like this co-working space and a cinema room which is sick like i absolutely love this room there's also a gym and a yoga studio and like a dining space upstairs with a kitchen if you want to host dinner parties so yeah, that was my viewing of the Way of Life apartment. Like I said, the vocation wasn't ideal. Um, I didn't love the surrounding areas. I was kind of thinking like if I was coming back um, like on my own from somewhere or if I was walking my dog, I don't think I would feel particularly safe. Um, so that's kind of like why it's a no-go, but I really, really love seeing um, what they've done to the building and it's such an iconic building. So yeah, I really liked it. I really love the kitchen, but yeah, location unfortunately wasn't for me. So yeah, that is it for this video. Um, I feel like life currently has been going from like zero to a hundred and beginning of August was a little bit quiet and I had time to breathe and stuff but now like gearing up for September and onwards it's just gonna be a lot <laughs> and I'm still trying to find an apartment um, I'm still trying to figure out if I want to stay in the area that I am or if I move out a little bit um, yeah I don't know I'm just I'm looking on right move like every single day and I'm just very picky so I'm taking my time but hopefully I will be in my new place ideally it was October but maybe now it's November but if it's November it'll be great if it's before my birthday wait no it, it's gonna have to be October I think because I'm meant to be going away in November Okay, there's just things that I need to, to do and figure out. But that's fine. I have a little bit of time. Um, I can just scream into my pillow if I need to. But yeah, I have a lot of things to figure out in a short amount of time because we're on 23rd of August, so it's nearly September. I still haven't got a completion date for my house, which is very annoying. I've got the exchange date, but we haven't got the completion date yet, which is why it's very difficult for me to figure out when I can move <laughs> because I am not paying a mortgage and rent at the same time. It's fine, it's not your guys' problem, it's mine. I need to figure that out, I need to sort my life out. <sighs> okay, I feel like I need a drink. Oh, I do have a little bit of uh, my chai. Hmm. but yeah the next video is going to be another vlog because i'm off on a girls trip on monday which i'm so excited for i don't really think i've been on like a girls trip before i could be wrong but i don't think i have been so i'm very very excited for that and yeah it's it's a lovely group of girls and Claudia is also going and you I know you guys love when she's in my vlogs so yeah expect next video slash vlog to be full can you tell them kind of like malfunctioning M malfunctioning I don't know if that's the right word I'm just gonna shut up now and end this video because my brain is all over the place um but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoy it um and if you guys have any tips on me finding an apartment or like things that i should be looking out for then leave them below because i have no clue i have no idea what i'm doing um but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye